Hey, John with Offgrid Homesteading. Okay, so before we could do any of the um, uh, the post hole digging with the auger, first of all, we had to find the auger, find all the pieces, put it together. Um, the main drive shaft back here um, was basically left out in the elements, and um, anyway, long story short, the uh, the drive shaft didn't slide up and down into each other. So one of the things that I had to do to make it work after basically sanding down the entire uh, this area and using a wire brush on it I ended up having to cut off about three inches of, of this piece here and about three inches here and a couple of inches on this one um, which gave a new opening that had not been affected by rust which allowed it to give it um, movement so then the next challenge was the CV joint on this thing is just old and uh, if you look at this thing, uh, let me see. Let's go up here. Okay. So anyway, this piece here, um, that CV joint or that what I call it, it's a race is what I call it. Uh, I don't know if that's the right name, but anyway, uh, this had worn out. So I had to um, basically take my roto zip and drill and uh, grind that piece off. Then I cut a socket. I took a, a socket that actually fit over the central shaft, and then um, I cut the socket off, put it in the hole to keep this aligned because that socket actually kind of um, just kind of fits into that little hole there. And then this uh, this little clip, uh, the clip that's there. Let me see here. Uh, this clip that's here ended up um, flying off somewhere. So I don't know where the heck it went. Anyway, so what was happening is this socket was then wanting to just jump out. Um, I talked to uh, uh, Paul and Deb and stuff about about this. And he said, well, just do whatever you need to do. So needed to find a way to keep this socket from bouncing out that little hole. Um, so I just uh, welded on a piece of steel here that keeps that joint in place just so that we can uh, at least get these holes dug. This may not last a while, but at least this can be ground off and um, I didn't mess with the inside spot for the circlip. So we can still, you know, maybe find another joint and then uh, put the circlip stuff and uh, back on and get that going. Um, but anyway, it's, it's a really worn, uh, worn out joint. Let me show you the other side here and how much plays in it. Here's the, here's the opposite side. Let me go into it so you can see, Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. So lots of play uh, on this race over here. And uh, I don't know if we can see the other side of it, but it's just, come on. There we go. So yeah, just lots of play on that one joint. Anyway, it, it, it should do the job for, you know, these, uh, how many holes do I have over here? We've got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then one in the center. So fourteen holes. I should be able to get, hopefully, uh, that amount of work uh, out of that joint as long as I'm not going, you know, too deep or I hit a major rock or anything. Uh, it actually sheared uh, the bolt that I had in here directly off, so we tried a new pin on there. And uh, this central um, sleeve was actually just kind of uh, rusted in place on this. So this rotates, this, you know, takes the slack up between the shaft itself um, and the sleeve. So uh, the bottom part of the sleeve, this um, little pin goes through and attaches to the shaft or to the sleeve. And then the top part of the sleeve attaches directly to the shaft through that. So hopefully that will work. I already dug a test hole here about uh, 18 inches, two feet deep. Worked out fine. Um, outside of that, uh, what else? This around. Um, outside of that, we got our trailer in place over here um, that we got from the hunting camp next door and got that kind of, um, we got some things inside just for storage right now. And uh, um, that's about it. So, oh, well, let's see what else. I'll do another video on that later. Okay, bye.